Hello everyone, this is Chris with One Tech Stop and I'm bringing you a comparison of Google Maps on Android against Maps for Windows 10. At first of all, we'll take a look at some of the settings and version numbers, right. This is version 9.26.1 running on Android 5.0.2. That's Google Maps for you. Uh, running on the Redmi Note 3 against. Let's have a look. Against Maps version 5.1603.1381 running on the Lumia 8, uh, 820 with a Windows 10 mobile inside a preview build. Um, we'll just check which number that is. 10.0.143.42.1003. Uh, okay, that's all the numbers out of the way. Now let's take a look at these two Maps apps work. Google Maps has this very familiar bar, uh, bar at the top where you can search various things. You can also bring in a menu where you can change the view, uh, check traffic, public transport, offline areas, which we'll take a look at in a minute. Right, come over to Windows 10 mobile. The control buttons can be found here with an option to change from satellite view to aerial to road. Uh, switching on traffic and street side which is very similar to google street view again something we'll take a look at in a minute you do have this menu bar down the bottom where you can get to 3d cities as well as sharing location uh, also finding directions etc okay we'll do a search Just a quick word on scrolling. Obviously, uh, Google Maps does appear to do things a little smoother. And the overall view of the maps, uh, things look a bit brighter on Google Maps, I'd say. Perhaps it was a sunnier day when the satellite images were taken. Okay, we will try and get directions to ba 22 HD here on Windows 10 you can see a directions button which we'll press uh, here on Google Maps you have a little car logo okay and they both come up you can slide up to find out more information as you can here uh, they give you a number of different options to of which route you want to take okay and we will say go on both here we go so both give you a driving view uh, both have turn by turn voice guidance we've heard it on here but nothing yet on here As you can hear, Google Maps has given you instructions straight away, as well as pointing out. Slight left onto Loden Hill, then turn left onto Bath Road. Whereas at the moment, uh, Maps for Windows 10 is remaining quiet while we, as we're yet to make a start. You, you can pan in and out and check your route. Okay, so a very similar setup, I think you would agree. Okay, let's say, take a look at Street View. Street Levels, it's called on Windows Maps. Uh, we'll go into Bath. A fairly well-known popular 
uh, touristy place which gets quite a good bit of coverage by, uh, by both mapping services right pressing on both uh, drop a pin and slide up to find out more Uh, just from dropping a pin, you can save, label, share. Uh, you have the same options here. Favorite, share, print, or pin. So we'll go street side. Just take a look how both apps handle it. Uh, Google Maps certainly seems smoother. It could be down to the hardware, of course. I mean, if I was doing this on a 950XL, for example, perhaps it would be rendering a lot quicker. But anyway, let's... Okay, I would say Google Maps kind of handles this, kind of handles things a bit smoother. But both do a good job. That is street view. Now, I would say certainly in the UK, Google Maps has pretty much covered the entire globe. You can go anywhere, including my current location, Chippenham, and put in street view. Uh, Windows 10 coverage, as you can see, turn on street side. And it's only these blue areas which have coverage. And they've covered London, uh, Bristol and Bath, M Birmingham, Manchester, the big cities. I do hope here and Windows and anyone else responsible for maps will continue coverage of this do occasionally see the cars going around with the big cameras on top but anyway as we were saying i'll go to my hometown and unfortunately there is no street view for chippenham let's hope that improves soon that is one feature here on windows 10 maps 3D cities, which I haven't actually found here on Google Maps. As not to say they don't have a very similar version. There is Google Earth, which I've not used for a long time. But that is a separate app altogether. 3D cities on Windows 10 Maps does let you look at various large cities in the world. And kind of give you a flyover, similar to what you get on Apple Maps. That is 3D cities. It does render a bit clearer after a while. But while maps across most of the country is very well, is very detailed, you don't kind of have this similar feature. Or if you do, I haven't spotted it yet. Well-known city, Spain, Barcelona. More info. Yeah, there doesn't seem an obvious way to look round, other than Street View, which is great, but doesn't give you that same sort of fly over view you get here on Windows 10 maps. It One more very important area of maps is offline usage, being able to use it without a data connection, something Windows 10 maps handles really well. Uh, you can 
go to settings, go to offline maps, download maps so you can search for places and directions without a connection to the internet, choose maps, uh, I already have England, United Kingdom stored but you can choose from various different continents, then download by the country. Google do a similar thing, offline areas. So you can't actually necessarily download an entire country. Press the plus button. And as you see, you can then save the area that you've scrolled into from a certain point. You then have to start again. See where I'm See, that is the maximum amount of space you can download. So you could put all of Wales in there, for example. You could put all of Northern Ireland. Could you put all of Scotland? Not quite. Uh, but then, obviously, using offline maps, you lose such features as, as traffic, for example. I'll just take a quick look at the settings. can change uh, units to kilometers to miles navigation setting here on Windows 10 uh, your units metric Imperial or US your preferred directions so do you want public transport walk-in or drive-in when you search for a place Turn by turn navigation, day or night, speed limit warning, as well as changing your location. Well, this has been my look at maps for Windows 10 against maps on, uh, Google Maps on Android. Google hasn't actually published an app for Windows 10 yet in my opinion is a very good solution i certainly never miss google maps at street view occasionally but there are a few street view apps available for windows 10 third party ones i will be comparing some more apps between android and windows 10 and maybe even ios if anyone particularly wants to see them uh, any comments or questions are always welcome and as always thanks ever so much for watching this has been chris for one tech stop take care